Good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Robert Street Cap. As a reminder, this is where the district's executive cabinet and I attempt to bring you three of the most salient agenda items from our most recent board meeting, just in case you were not able to attend in person or to view us online. At last night's board meeting, as always, we started meeting off with recognition and acknowledgments of some of the outstanding and amazing work happening from teachers, students and staff, both in and out of the classrooms. Last night's recognitions really highlighted the amazing work of our students, both in the classroom and out. The first group that was recognized was our state champion, the Bait Team. Roosevelt High School Let's Go Riders ended up being the state champion in the Forensic Debate League in the state of Iowa. And to top it off, we also had a number of individual state champs, including Charlie Timms, who was named as a Student of the Year, and Nanas Abukar, who also won a state champion in her event. The next group that we recognized, again, were students. In partnership with the Des Moines Education Association, they presented six students with scholarships because these students are looking forward to becoming future educators. What a bet better way for us to start to think about recruiting teachers very early on. Each of the six students upon graduation will be attending two and four year colleges and universities. Thank you for those who are recognizing last night. Second agenda item that I want to bring to you is the board's commitment and so is the district's to make sure that we are ramping up and continuously refining our security processes, protocols and measures. So at last night's meeting, the board approved a number of updates around our security entryway at many of our elementary and high schools. This also included a few updates for some of our middle schools. Wanted to make sure that security continues to remain a priority of this district. The third agenda item I want to bring to you is the work session. The work session last night focused primarily on the approval of our budget for fiscal year 25. One of the salient items that stands out to me from last night's budget presentation by our CFO, Shishan Karura, is the fact that we have looked at a previously held $14 million budget deficit. And because of the thoughtfulness and creativity and, and in sort of commitment to making sure that we are truly moving towards a healthy financial place, we were able to present to the board our current reality, which is a zero deficit fiscal year 25. Three salient agenda items, three minutes or less. Welcome again to the Roberts Recap. I'll see you next time.